Hi guys, Navy Dad back again with you today. Talk about something that bugs the crap out of me, and I bet it bugs the crap out of you if you have an 84 through 96 XJ. Ask your window sills. I don't care what part of the country you live in now, you know, the, the newest of the first generation XJ is now uh, over 20 years old. So you probably have separation here, dry it out all around here, and of course this is dried out and broken off completely. And it probably looks like this. And your back window probably looks like this. Sorry again, I only took pictures doing this part. So anyway, uh, so I'm going to talk about two things. One, how to replace this, uh, which is pretty easy. But two, how to convert your back windows to a 97 to 01 because they don't make seals for that anymore. So anyway, on, on this guy, um, they still you can still buy new, almost everything around here, all the seals, everything, this, this seal's brand new right here. Um, I know there's some guys out there that have done some 97 to uh, 01 uh, upgrades on doing this, but I figured the parts are still new, still out there, it was just easier to do it that way on the front. So again, this seal's been replaced, this one is available, you can get it from Quadra, Quadratech, uh, or Morris uh, 4x4. I'm sure there's others too, but I know that those guys carry it. So again, uh, main part on, on this door is replacing this seal and this seal. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea what AMC was thinking about when they designed these windows. There are so many components to this. You've got this metal piece here. You've got this rubber piece here. You've got this piece that goes all the way around here. Then it has an inner piece inside that. Then this window has two pieces that go around here, and that has another separate piece that here that goes right here, depending on what year you have. I mean, <laughs> what the heck? Now, I've already converted this one, but I'll show you pictures here in just a second, like the other one that I showed you. It was really bad. In fact, here is what I took out. Take a look at this. That <laughs> was rubber. It completely dry rotted to crumbling chunks of like plastic so it was a complete mess so anyway while I did this <clears throat> I also took the uh, took the opportunity to upgrade my door handles from uh, black to chrome okay so on the rear door uh, of your your uh, 84 through 96 you have the same situation there were um, there's you got your metal here uh, you've got this, this separate uh, squeegee thing here. You have a separate piece of uh, rubber that goes here. You have a gasket, or you have this piece that goes all the way around. Then you have a separate gasket that goes inside of that. Then for the window, this is where the real pain in the ass is. So on your, on the, again, this has already been upgraded, so I'll get to that in a minute. But So on your, your um, uh, 84 through 96, there's the rubber gasket that goes inside the channel here. Then there's the gasket that goes inside the channel here that locks your quarter window in. And then there's another gasket that goes all the way around. Those are all individual pieces. Um, but finally, when uh, the 97 came out, they went to very basics. You've got a single piece here that covers the rubber here, covers the rubber here, replaces that steel piece. It's all one piece right there. Now on the quarter window, this is brilliant. The quarter window, this piece here is just one piece. There's no separate gasket for the inside and the outside, and it is bonded to the quarter window. So it's just all one piece. You don't have to worry about these separate pieces. Now, um, both Quadratech and, um, uh, and Morris offer the inner piece for the um, Okay, damn it. Memory card filled up, so I had an error. So, I think where I was talking about is this. So, again, uh, this is uh, uh, one piece bond to this guy. So, now what you're going to need to do is uh, to replace this, and, and I'll have a list at the end, of the, of, uh, the end of the film here showing what parts that you need to get off of 97 to 01 four door Cherokee. But again, this is the uh, uh, and, and obviously you want to do this when you go to the junkyard. So you want to get the factory tinted glass. That's what this is. This is the factory tinted glass. The rest of this is 
Um, actually, this window, this and the rest of the Jeep is uh, was the uh, uh, window tint installed by the dealer pre-delivery in 1988. Held up pretty well, huh? So anyway, uh, now I'm not going to go over how to take off the door panel. Obviously, um, you should know how to do that already. There's a couple of videos out there on what you've got to do for this guy. Hold on, I'm going to change camera angles. So anyway, um, there's a couple of videos out there on how to um, take the door panel off on a um, uh, pre-97 uh, Cherokee and remove the quarter window. I'll kind of briefly go over it, but you can go ahead and take a look at that video out there. It's pretty good, except for <laughs> the guy doing it, he unscrews everything and just grabs the door panel and yanks it off. Well, <laughs> I guess maybe he's going to replace the door panel or something. but. These are getting old. I mean, like I said, the newest of these vehicles, the first gen, is is nearly 21 years old. So, you know, this is just cardboard, unlike the 97 to 01, which was plastic, and even that could be get brittle. So use the right tools. You know, really, seriously, use these tools to do this. I think I'm cutting my head off, aren't I? So use the right tools to take your door panel off. And these door panels are pretty easy. You basically unscrew here and here. Uh, there's a screw right here. And this, um, <laughs> and I think it changed a little bit later, but it is not a clip on the back like a GM or a Ford. So you want to be very gentle with it when you use these tools and just pop it straight off. Uh, and then of course use these guys to pop these off. Now something else, um, now oh, hold on, let me show you what will help you get the clips off of these guys. Hang, hang on. Okay, like I said, use the right tools to do this. Use these. Once you have your door panel up and pulled away, there are your lock clip and your door handle clip. And they are um, a little plastic thing that basically clips over the rod here. And you got to be really careful if you break them because they're a little hard to find if you break them off. But if you use these tools here, you can pop them off. It's a little hard to get in there, but you can do it. It's not that hard. And then you take your whole door panel off, or your, your uh, handle off. And you can do the same thing with the, uh, if you got power windows, you just undo that and then unclip your, your power window bosses there. But <laughs> don't try and shove it through here because it really doesn't fit. It's not made to fit. It's going to tear it. So now, uh, also, item to note, there is a, a um, uh, and, and you can see this in the, in the video, but right here, when you pull this off, there's a, there's a rivet there that you need to drill out on the 90, or 84 through 96s. That's not used in the 97 through 01s. In fact, the hole is still there because it's the same door, but you don't use that. You don't need to worry about putting a screw in there or a rivet or anything like that because again this is bonded in one piece but um, and I'll briefly go over the, the parts again I'll put to the part list but when you pull this stuff out of your um, 97 to 01 there's no modifications except for one the rest of it is very simple but I do want to remind you you need to get all of the hardware that attaches the window on your 97 to 01 and again it's it power window or um, uh, manual, it doesn't matter because they changed the design of the window mount on it's a straight bolt through on this one and then, or I mean on the uh, 97 to 01, but on your predecessors it's an actual bonded nut so if you don't get all the hardware you're not going to be able to put it back on so make sure you get all of the hardware then also the back door panel piece this piece right here is actually off the um, or that well the door panel rubber this is off the 97 to 01. Take that with you if you have the door panel on there. You can use your original one, but this one fits a little bit better. There's less of a gap there. So definitely grab that. I mean, I think pick and pull car charge me like three bucks for it. Now your modification is right here. And I'll change camera angles here in just a second to show you. You have to drill a hole that's about three quarters of an inch uh, closer to the inner part of the door to, to mount the 97 to 01. The shank is a little bit shorter. Um, here's what I'm talking about.
So again, you can obviously tell which is the new one and which is the old one and, and that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change camera angles here and I'll show you where you actually drill it and it's pretty easy. Hold on. Okay, so you can see this is it. So you can use the same screw. Um, this is the original mounting hole for the, uh, for the previous window and this is the new mounting hole for the 97-01. So I just took a, a rubber button in there and I filled it full of... Uh, um, silicone, waterproof, well, weatherproof silicone, seal it up in there. But that, that's the only actual modification you have to do to make this work. So again, it's pretty easy. Um, you can do the, you know, I think one door took me maybe two hours to do because I swapped out the door handles, replaced the hinge latches, and uh, cleaned up the plastic, you know, in the door. So, uh, you know, I went a little bit over, but... <laughs> Uh, that's what you do when you have one of these, right? So anyway, um, I'll put the parts list here at the end. Um, again, I got a local pick and pull here in Dallas. Uh, I've got both windows, the quarter window, and all the hardware for like 70 bucks, I think, to did the whole thing. And now I don't have to worry about uh, water leaks anymore when I take it to the car wash or the mud, <laughs> which is kind of important, and no more wind noise, you know, and of course, up here, same thing, it's, it's all nice and clean now and, and uh, uh, good to go for another 30 years maybe, I don't know. But again, check it out, there's some other guys out on some of the forums that have modified the, o, uh, the 97 to 01, this piece here, to work on here. you got to cut this out to make it work, but, but you can do it and it will work, but here, you're screwed. I mean, you can do a window swap. Uh, and get rid of this and put 9701 window in here but you're going to have to do some spot welding to install the track here i actually looked into it i was like ah fuck that i'm not doing that so in fact i was looking for the actual vent windows um, from the earlier cars but i can't find one so and i said yeah just easier place to break in so anyway maybe dad out see you next time bye